Alrighty, so welcome back to a teaser video here, one that I haven't done, uh, for, well for JD at least, in quite a while over here, that's mainly because of full, full, full on development has gone away from the model over here, so teaser videos have been very much not exactly in the, uh, the works, well, teasers in general haven't been anything worked out because they're going full on with the, the model here, if I remember correctly, what's going to come with the, uh, the update, that being the trial mode camera, we're going to have France, Scythia and Italy this time over here. Uh, it, we, Japan got replaced with Italy over here because Japan progress was moving too slow, if I remember correctly from what the dev team said. So we're getting some Italy stuff over here, which is neat over here. You usually don't see that. Yeah, but hopefully we'll get something for Japan in the future. One day. <clears throat> One day. Over here, because I have, I have seen some, some of the interesting things about Japan over here, and I'm very... Keen on seeing getting on seeing that get flushed out over here, but for now over here we got the big three over here. They being France, Italy, and Scythia. Yeah, well, well Italy's kinda of the big three over here. America is tech America will also be a part of that over here, but the big three in terms of who's gonna get content in the full release. And anyway, when something changes in Moscow, no one will ever notice this this Siberian this and Siberian over here. So yeah, this is a uh, a big old teaser for Konstantin Vaskoboynik, like one of uh, Gogolov's successors over here, and this is his successor over here because if I remember correctly, Vaskoboynik is of the same age as Gogolov over here, just so that uh, Gogolov isn't dying over here. Vaskoboynik is not dying; <laughs> he's dying slowly. Gogolov is dying kind of fast, to put it rather bluntly over here. But yeah. Little stuff we got going on over here. So, for the events over here involving the stuff for Vasco Bornick and choosing of his successors over here. And uh, if I'm not correctly, these are going to be uh, 10 years worth of content over here. And then there's going to be, from what I've heard, a JD2 over here, much like uh, similar to how TNO2 is, which is going to be like another 10 years. So, there's going to be 20 years, but that's going to be like the distant future. Like the very distant future, we gotta get all the stuff over here for the first ten years, down pat over here, which is very interesting. All that stuff of all the, all, all the stuff we got going on over here, all the stuff I know. We got, <coughs> anyways, the last dinner. The old was coughed into the napkin. The coffin he struggled lasted for about a minute until his eyes were up in the pictures. But the tent of the pop <coughs> pop belly stove that warm in the cold room in the rain and stuff were blasting outside. The delicacies that were before him reminded of the Tsar Sarah. For the first time, he has decided to break from his classical diet of shishi soup and oatmeal bread in favor of grandeur. Fresh pheasant stuffed with fruit, sturgeon, beautifully laid with greenery, a swan gracefully staying inside the feast. Caviar of all varieties and colors, soups and wine from all over the world. Sounds good, actually. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. But once it was laid out on the tongue, it turned into plastic that he simply chewed and swallowed. Phil neither taste nor smell by this point, but the best skill of city in cuisine, trying to impress him was off of nothing. He didn't even film with the star, the snow, strawberry with ice cream disappeared into his mouth over here. And then now I'm hungry. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I'm definitely gonna eat after this. But now, he was alone. His guards were prohibited from entering his house, otherwise they wished to get a bullet in their head. He could finally reconsider his past deeds. Maybe. Just maybe, if he took the helm of her few years earlier, he could enjoy the life of a farmer as he always intended. The work of his life remained unfulfilled. If he had turned from her past by embracing the metal, but her mind was stuck in one place. The Duma from head down to head to toe consisted of careers. The industrial prowess was still laughable even in comparison to the part of Les Soleil. The army had expanded left and right and so I found endless pool of suits to join the treasury. But whatever, it was not a concern now. He had pressed on the button and make sure TV started to work, more or less. Showing sure, the recent films produced by the city in mind. Something, something. A copycat of cowboy stories for America just with the city instead of cowboys and the Kazakh Tarsars instead of the natives. Boring over here. That actually sounds like it would be an interesting TV concept. TV show concept. Wouldn't mind seeing that shit. We're all too boring now. So our life was too boring, too regimented, too mechanical by this point. Sighing again, he decided to move the chair away from the Grand Feast and think a bit about the future. After all, the best thoughts come after a good dish and a good sleep. He slowly closed his eyes. Only for his mind to just somewhere else, somewhere far away, where no one would disturb him over here. He lost his own thoughts over here. Kind of like me. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing like a... Like a, would basically be like Russians of cowboys and Indians. 
Sounds sounds like a be interesting take on that whole concept over here just to see what the fuck that could be all about over here. Because you know the Caucasus are considered like the wild wild east. Or at least like the wild wild west, but uh in in, in uh Russia. I think it would be keen to see how that is. Up next, it doesn't matter who votes, but who counts the votes over here. Uh, yes. The crew could be sent for the past 10 minutes. At the official announcement, Vasco Bornik's death, the country was in a state of sorrow. Thankfully enough, the Ukraine immediately announced the lockdown of all government boons and all army leaders were called to Moscow for an emergency meeting. Here they could not allow another coup. All protocols were established and proceeded with. All ministers gave a long speech about how important was the vision of their Vos to them, how great of a leader he was, and that they would continue to walk the road he had set up for them. The first time that something would definitely go wrong. At the last official, at the last official gave his word, the hall erupted into a discussion on what to do next. Thankfully, nope, only one shoe was thrown. <laughs> only one. <laughs> and the vocator's corpse was dragged out of the room. Damn. Talk about. <laughs> talk about. Talk about gun both diplomacy. Okay, this is gun diplomacy. Gun to gun diplomacy. Or diplomatic discussion. <laughs> Oh, that's just, uh, that's just funny. The fucking throwing of a shoe over here. I've, I've seen pictures of that. That's never not funny. But the question remains, who will this get to now? There are many options, but with every passing day, and every now further and further. Too unreliable, too ambitious, too revisionist, agrarian, soft. And as with a scarlet hand, joined the mass of voters just behind the certain cliques. I already started to form, and it was only a question of who could offer more. First spoke, Boris Rybakov. The man beloved by the masses of peasants and workers, the man who removed most of the absurd laws of Gorgonov and made life easier for countless millions. Now that in this charity product to uplift the poor to the poor, but we're gonna lo uh, but a lot of begin to doubt his trueness in regard to further further reforms over here. I'm asking black over here. This video will come out on uh, I think on a Tuesday. Over into here, so you might have seen the video over here. Bit of a law in vids. Oh, here and I do a part for that. Ugh, just, uh, I just have <laughs> just been feeling lethargic. Oh, here, but now I should be relatively. I should not exactly the best over here. I just feel really fucking tired all the all the time, all the time right now. So, oh, it should be fixed. Anyways, enough about me. Talk about Victor. Second was Viktor Filatov, the second in command of the Ukraine, the man with the velvet tongue. A populist with five men who promised to finish with the two vows that promises, combining the best of two wars and blending a true pair as a skitting man. At least those were promises. Regarding the votes for soon casting, thus for this impediment almost universally through the lot of Rybakov, but the Ukraine workers stood with Filatov. However, other one group remained flailing. The a skitting army, and to arrange a deal with, it was the attacks truly want to say, but in the end, either Rybakov had managed to promise the budget increase, or Filatov's words of future Congress swayed their minds. Now we get the two successors over here. So first, we're going to read about the f read about the conservative man over here. Boris Rebekov here to get the national state. Because it's, it's kind of fascinating how uh, this played out. Because like, wow, Scythia actually having a moderate and not crazy path over here with neo blood idealism, basically. Yeah. But we don't worry, we, we got the good shit for those that want it. Anyways, new Vos, new Scythia. With the sudden passing of Vosco Borg, many foreign observers expected the dictatorial and personalist regime of Scythia to collapse under itself, almost only to interact them after Gorgolo's death. There are less they have been proved wrong and assumingly the new Vos was sent peacefully into parliamentary voting. Something I've seen the nation ever since its formation. Boris were become the foreign minister and the interior managed to get large enough support of the newfound oligarch class. The army penetrated, promising to keep the past set by Vosco Bornik and continue the process of reforging. Probably enough, his first act was to rehabilitate a part of a thousand political prisoners and diplomats throughout the world to break national isolation. Nevertheless, while most of the world served to go about the true intentions of the new Green Leader, many hoped that the tight leash over hundreds of millions a weekend. So many speculated in the crazy world to this hit the end, maybe come a bastion of sanity and proper time and dedication. The Green Eminence advantage over here. It would be fucking funny. <laughs> fucking hilarious if that actually did happen. Actually, did happen, <laughs> happen over here. Now I believe uh, Boris was um, was some uh, very dude. I can't remember exactly over here. I only, I only did skimmings of the guys. A little bit of skimming. Anyway, his the description. Knowledge is power. My favorite saying of all time. This is known by many. However, it takes a great man to possess both. 
Boris Rebekov was one such man, being interested in the workings of the ancient world. Rebekov and Ron University Moscow's the eastern history, particularly that of Russia. However, the Minister said he was swept out by Korchak's regime into the army during the summer cool war, though he saw no combat. When Rebekov's horde came steamrolling over Moscow, Rebekov took well to the new overlords, converted to Skitty and Orthodox and continued his studies. These studies were captured the eye of Skitty and officials who took interest in his theories about ancient Rus and the other Slavic nations being direct descendants of the Skittins of old. These findings earned him award after award. He soon became head of the Moscow Institute of City and History. He would hold his mission until Vasco Born came to power with Boris had personal connection to it. Vasco Born appointed Vibrakov as a Mr. Interior, who was all too happy to get the promotion. Vibrakov became popular with the people as a man who was as infinite wisdom in the matter of history, as well as not being one of the only members of the city and government with a level head and outwardly kind disposition. So it's not why he was able to rally power to support to get the title of the next Great Green Vase. Great Green Vase. <laughs> Have I said it before? That I might have. Time will tell what his old professor would do, but most of the their luck with gleaming eyes and the man is here to save you from the madness. We shall see. Let's see, can he maintain the moderatism? Or can he. Well, something else come and bum rush its way to the top? We shall see. Anyway, Victor Filato here, the continuation. New vibes, old Skitia. Same shit, different problems. With the sudden passing of Oscar Boyd, many forms over the expected dictator and personal as you see the collapse itself under the uh, itself on what's happened to the interregnum of the Google Life. Death, nonetheless, they have been proven wrong, assuming the new rise would send peacefully in Parliamentary Volume. So they seen nations ever since its formation. Victor Filler taught the second commander of Ukraine had managed to centralize to support the secret police, the army, and the rallying work and masses to carry him to the throne of Scythia. Promising to continue the process to be forging his work combined the best of Google and Vasco Boy's heirs while showering. The newfound support with the slogan of Scythian glory, paradise on earth, and his vision of order and mastery of the public people. Oh, hold on. Uh, sorry about that. I had a phone call to take. Oh, nothing too serious. Anyways. Uh. Shami's new fund support was so good to go with Palmer's Earth. Unsurprisingly, the election saw the mass powers of a few my, of the few minorities left within the city of thousands were lynched on the streets. Goddamn. Goddamn. Furthermore, many of the others note the increasing jingoistic wave is paired with the rapid expansion of the city and army. Maybe prepared for the build according to experience, but can still talk key promises. It's another question. Green number four over here. I wonder how, just how much conquest you can do over here. I wonder how exactly the extent of the conquest over here, because I remember directly, um, Two of Chessy's successors can also do some conquests over here, and I believe uh, the like the most moderate guy over here, guy of two of Chessy is like the most expansionist out of all of them. Like the one to cover from fucking uh Spain, if I remember correctly over here, which is is <laughs> that would be fucking sight to see over here. But we're gonna get Vasco Bonic stuff over here first over here. I don't know when we're gonna see uh, the, the, the 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 not red Napoleon in this case. Anyway, Victor Filitov. Hard times make hard men. Oh yeah, that's saying. That can be applied to effect to affect every person residing in the territory of Skitty, yet while many seek a way out of the wanton brutality of Skitty and Saint. Victor Filitov relishes in it. Born to a military father and hardworking mother, the values of strength and firmness were instilled to Filitov at a young age. This made him perfect for the Akrana. He didn't see the police. He won to the Akrana character, leaving his home in Chinyablinsk, exceeding both written practice and the practical examinations. After graduating with the honors from the Ukraine Academy, he quickly rose to the ranks. He was renowned for his unflinching brutality toward the ethnic cleansing protected by the Ukraine, and especially in suppression of those who would speak against the state. By the time of the passing of Vasco Bonk, he was the second highest ranking man in the secret police, naturally earning him a lot of influence in the government. Most outsiders would assume his rough nature and brutal reputation would make him an unpopular towards the new leader of Sitia, but that's far from the truth. For full top lacks in charge, he makes a foreign vigor and passion to the great Skitian society. Using passion, spirit, Skitian glow and promises to unite the decadent and parasitic enemies of the state, he vowed to support the people in the storm jingoistic fervor. Along with the army who respected his fearsome reputation and lack of repressing undesirable wars, it was just a matter of time before Filitov took the reins and got to his true destiny. There were a great green paradise in the very center of the world, unlike the the director truly possessed the iron to make it happen. Yes, over here, and that's one how exactly he will double down the whole skating stuff over here. Or if, if, or if it'll be like Tito Borman, just make peace move with only keep the regime still while maintaining the whole green stuff. But yeah, that's just a little uh, Vasco Born successor shit over here. Nothing too much <coughs> for us over here, but it's a very interesting thing we got going on over here. And as I said before, it should come out on a Tuesday because. Jesus Christ, I, I'm. I don't know what's up with me right now over here. I don't think I got inside. I just feel really fucking lethargic for some reason. <clears throat> but 
but I'm gonna get this shit out over here because you know this is, this is what I do over here recording this shit for you guys over here and I very much enjoy doing stuff over here I very much am excited for what we got going over here and these portraits are very nice actually very nice stuff over here but yeah that's your Roscoe Boy. See those successors and all the stuff over here along with the interesting stuff we got going on for them very interesting stuff we got going on, on for them as well. I love the events. Very keen on uh, when uh, we get the stuff over here. Very keen on that over here. I, I don't know when this uh, Triumvirate Chaos update is going to come out over here. But I'm very excited for it. Very, very excited. So, yeah. Till then, I'll see you guys later over here. And I hope you enjoy. Bye.